Welcome to part 29 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. This is Ron Moore along with Spectre and Tibbs. How's it going? Hello. And we are done with the Temple of Twilight. And so the only one, only one more thing left to do, and that's to go to Ganon's Castle. Not quite yet, because we have an ordeal to deal with, or ordeals to deal with in this game, as we are heading toward the cave of ECW. I was hoping you would do this. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> I would have figured as much. Well, I thought you didn't get this far in this game, uh, Spectre. Oh, no. I mean, just the fact that you mentioned ECW. I was like, oh, we're at the temple of ECW, and now we're going to a cave of ECW. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not a cage match, a cave match. Yeah, a cave match. <laughs> find broken Matt Hardy somewhere in here. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You ever feel like uh, the world's caving in on you? <laughs> the bum boxes. <laughs> but I'll have some torches if you want the audience to be able to see. It's a dark match. Get it? Ha ha ha. <laughs> Remember that game, Humans? The game, Humans? Yeah. I don't think so. A game called Humans. Yeah, I, I, know, like, I guess like Caveman, you gotta have. It reminds me of Lemmings, maybe? You gotta do these obstacles. You plays a bunch of humans, and you gotta like build obstacles to get past certain levels. I can't really explain it. It's been so long since I played it. So it's Troll and Eroar. <laughs> Eroar. Yeah. Remember from a Zelda Two? I am. Which do you prefer, the pit, the pit, the pit of trials in Wind Waker, or this? Which one do you prefer? I never play. Oh, I played Wind Waker and I get that far. It's one thing to have those little plants pop up and try to come after you if you're in their radius. It's another thing if they actually start crawling after you. Yeah. <laughs> Man, John Goodman would take these spiders out. <laughs> Rock. <Rocket. laughs> oh. Absolutely. I haven't cool. seen that movie in a long time. Welcome to Cave Story for the GameCube. <laughs> <laughs> cool Cave That's Story, cave bro. Story the Switch, actually. I think it's a new one, unless it's like a remaster or remake or something. It's all 2D sprite based. We got did LP. It's the original of cave... game with a bunch of stuff included. We got did LP of Cave Story years ago, I think. Hmm. Yeah, Cave Story is awesome. Yeah, there was one on the DS or the 3DS, one or the other. I haven't checked out. I know there was on there, but I've never played it. Well, have you played uh, Shovel Knight where you play as Triple H? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, they, they don't I really, do have it. They don't really. Uh, that's not really re relevant anymore. He actually creates talent and does cool things now. Does doesn't bury anymore. I think it's pretty <laughs> much Vince is doing it. He's the one that still has control of the company, so he's the one that's calling oh. all the shots. Yeah. I just I just got it. Shovel Barry. I just got it. <laughs> 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 I've actually heard talk about how Triple H wanted to kind of bring back a little of the Attitude Era, if you will, in wrestling today, make it a little bit more hip as to what it used to be known as, but Vince won't allow it to pass. Well, dude, yeah. the way Braun beat the crap out of Roman the other night, that's not exactly PG. Yeah, yeah that's true. I still want to see Brock versus Strowman. Yeah, me too. That would be great. Oh, it'll happen. It kind of did happen, but that was when the Wyatt family was jumping him, but <laughs> Brock destroyed all of them. Yeah. Paul Hayner's down the call with this. Excuse me? He conquered them, not destroyed. Conquered. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman. <laughs> and this is my LP... The legend of Brock, the conqueror of time. <laughs> Imagine locking Paul Heyman and Paul Bearer in the in, in the same room together. <laughs> My client beat your client. Oh yeah. Hello. Well, hello there. Nurse. Put some clothes on, young lady. <laughs> what are them that's not PG. Oh, wait, this isn't PG. This is T for teen. Indeed. Yeah, what? this is why. <laughs> why couldn't we have this elf in Breath of the Wild? That'd be nice. Is that a, 
L <laughs> fat one. <laughs> Remember uh, in the Dark World in A Link to the Past where the fairies are blue like Ganon? Ganon gets around. Talking about you, you talking about the anti fairies? No, the remember the dark world. The the dark power turns all the fairies to ugly looking pig fairies. Remember when you get the silver arrow? Oh yeah, that's just one fairy. I thought it was. I thought all fairies are like that in the dark world. No, no, because that's the only fairy in the dark world. I think. Uh, Your knowledge well, I, is I assumed. I assumed all of them were turned that way. If she was. Well, you can't assume, Ronnie. <laughs> yeah, you know don't what they assume. Say you assume. Don't assume. Don't assume. I, was, I, was, I beat mod. that game when I was three. Yeah. I need no faggy cheat codes. I need to use gay genie. <laughs> gay genie. <laughs> Remember a Christina Aguilera song? Game genie in the bottle. Oh, no. Yep. Oh. Benji needs to come back. I swear it does. Yeah. The only thing they have now is a little USB thing for the PS3. That's the only uh, evidence of Game Genie that I've seen in the modern age. Yeah. Well, if you look at the, like all the ROM hacks, there are people that have made like corrupted versions of Mario 64 and Skyward Sword and all those games with some crazy effects. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen some of those. I figured maybe it was just them getting inside of the. Like, if they had a ROM or something of it, and they were just going in and screwing around with the code to cause that to happen. Yeah, I think so. It's still pretty cool, though, how you can do all that stuff. Yep. So in the Cave of Ordeals, you got to overcome all the ordeals, and you unlock all the fairies in Hyrule. That's right. Well, that's pretty stupid. No, I'm just kidding. Plus, there's one Easter egg in this place that makes it all worth it. You better show it. If I can, uh, I don't even know if I know what that is. Let's see if I can show it or stumble upon it. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. What is this, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom for GameCube? It's pretty cool. Yeah, honestly, I like all the Indiana Jones movies, but I think that was the one that I... I wouldn't say that I liked the least, but it just didn't seem like it stood up too well against the other ones as, oh. as well as I would have thought. Oh, I loved it. It was the first one oh, I yeah, yeah, I definitely actually. like it. I, yeah, yeah, I definitely like it for sure. I think the main thing that stood out to me was when they were sitting there at the dinner table and they were eating those bugs and all that stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. Was, now, when I was yeah. a kid, when I was a kid, the part that tripped me out was the when uh, Dalsima, whoever his name is, uh, ripped, uh, ripped, ripped out uh, Mola Ram. Ripped out the, yeah. guy, the guy's heart. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Actually, the actor that played as Dalsim in Street Fighter the movie is in that movie, but as that uh, uh, I don't know, a, a palace tour. He ends up turning heel on Indiana Jones. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. The reason we have PG thirteen, supposedly. Yeah. Yeah. You can't rip out people's hearts today. Man, the I'm episode really of The Simpsons where I think a mafia. The guy ripped out Homer's heart, and the, his leader goes, nah, don't do that. It was all right. So he put the heart back in, in Homer. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I haven't seen that one. Yeah. Ripped his heart <laughs> out, and Homer's about to die, and his, I guess his boss goes, nah, don't, you don't have to kill him. All right. Puts the heart back into Homer's chest, <laughs> and Homer's all right. Forbidden donut. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the Stonecutters episode where Homer was uh, yes. wiping his mouth with the, the uh, that scroll or whatever it was in the, in the Stone Cold Cutters uh, uh, temple. <laughs> stone Cold Cutty. Whoa. Cold Stone, my type. Cold Stone, I'm my I like Cold Stone. Cold Stone, my favorite wrestler. Shh. And my boy. Wasn't it Mike Tyson who always called him Cold Stone? Yeah, that's who I'm imitating. Yeah. Just like if you watch the 98 Rumble when Michael Cole's interviewing Tyson, he refers to Shawn Michaels as an up-and-coming hungry tiger. <laughs> he's like, he's he's full. He's a champion. So was that the last poll? No, I think there's two or three more down here.
This is like a constant arena battle thing. Yeah. You have 50, 50 floors, I believe. Is it optional? Yeah. Yes. Okay. The reward's that's not why, that great, that's but why it's, I gotta do it every time. That's why it's best to have all the hearts full before you enter this place. Oh, what's interesting about this specter is that it's blocked off into sections, and each section cannot be completed unless you have, like, uh, or rather, you can't get to each section unless you have a certain item. So you can't actually uh, complete this until you beat the city in the sky. So, oh, okay. so what if you don't have that and you enter here? Are you stuck? You gotta reset the game or kill yourself? No, because each room that the fairy is in, they offer to take you out of it. Okay, like, you're at a dead end, idiot. You're missing the Rod of Dominion. So, when you go back again, do you have to fight all the enemies again, or are they already gone? No, you gotta fight them again. Oh, yeah. lord. It's Dark Souls over. <laughs> Man, it's getting attacked by, uh, the Boyness Blobs here. <laughs> oh, the Boyness Blob. Oh, it's Man, jeez. Reminds me of that, uh, Black Sludge in Creepshow 2. Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> they were out on the raft or something, and it pulled that girl's face The off. raft. Yeah, that gave me, I they, they beat gave me the creeps. you <laughs> Yeah, I just thought, I beat you! <sighs> like, you idiot. Then the sign is no swimming. Yeah. It's awesome. That, that movie, that... the first creep show was fantastic. The second one is so bad, it's good. Yeah, she's the queen fairy. Is she? And each one of these sections that you do releases fairies to one of the springs. No, but is she the queen See right fairy? here, she says, from this point on, you will need, you will have need of the power to, that allows one to break through massive frozen blocks of ice. So you need the ball and chain to continue further. Yeah, but is she the queen fairy? I, I don't really think there is a queen fairy in this game. Like, I don't know if this one fairy is the one you're seeing throughout this entire place or not. Yeah, the, you know, Zelda series ripped off Star Trek. Everybody in Hyrule has Spock ears. <laughs> Spock Man and Mega Man 3? Oh, wait, that's... Oh. They're all elves. I lost I'm count. speechless. I lost that count. Left me speechless. I lost count. It's 420. <laughs> you know, they I can at least tell you... by 10. Look at these tell you on top left or right or bottom left or right at whatever corner or floor you're on. If oh, it's blocked it, it, by, by 10, you're in 21 now. It didn't start you all the way back in the beginning, though, so that's good. Yeah. All right, Hercules. <laughs> Hercules swinging the chain before he wrestled. <laughs> Crush enemies. Oh, wait, that's Coney. Whoa. Uh, ghost rats. Those things are freaky. Yeah. Oh, what's this? A Poe? Oh, hearts. <laughs> it's a bread heart. You get it? Boo. McMahon. <laughs> Beg your pardon? <laughs> but it's not the king of hearts. Oh, one heart. Well, take on his older brother. Brett the Hitman heart. Oh, this is creepy. This is some, the mummy return stuff. Whoa. <laughs> they like they creep up on you. Well, wait, how come they're not riding motorcycles? <laughs> no, Don't give, even mention that game. Come on, give with the times, just like Castlevania did. Uh oh. It's a giant spider from Uninvited. Remember the demo? You might not remember it, Ronnie, but Spectre, if you're a Zelda fan, you might remember prior to anything starting with Breath of the Wild, the initial like clip they had was of Link fighting a giant Goma. Yeah, I don't oh, really Breath remember. Of the Wild? No, Twilight like Princess. Like before any. Oh no no no! Like basically, what they were doing is they were showing what a Zelda game on the Wii U could have been. It even had like inventory on the gamepad screen. And for that few seconds of him fighting a Goma was all we got. Oh, wow. Remember Sony's E3 presentation? 
in 2006. 2006. Where they said, uh, in this game, this game sim sim uh, simulates actual real battles in ancient Japan. And then, they sh and then uh, the next thing you know, you see right here, you're fighting a giant enemy crab. <laughs> no, jeez. Yeah, that was for, they were talking about the PlayStation 3, I believe, and uh, it was, um, I forgot, it was some type of samurai action game. Yeah. I believe. The worst was Microsoft showing off, I think it was Call of Duty, with the Kinect. Oh. I guess that didn't connect with the fans. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, this is where you gotta use the rod of ECW. Yes, Link loves to use his rod. Yep. That's Remember Rod, on pots. Rod and Todd from uh. uh that sounds know, familiar. Simpsons, Flanders. Oh yeah. Yeah. Remember those? Uh, I don't know why I thought of these two. George and Adam, those two super fans. Oh and, yeah. Uh, I think, <laughs> not, you remember those guys? Yeah, I'm getting close to that era right now. I'm watching Raw '94 right now. Yeah, I remember they, they presented, I think, the Slammy Award to The Undertaker, and they peed their pants. Yeah. And doesn't he even take, doesn't Taker even acknowledge it, I think? Yeah, he kind of looks at him and goes, <laughs> Wasn't one of them a uh, Steve Prezak interviewer? Or, I don't know, maybe not. I, I know nothing. All I remember is one of them was Goofy Ginger. Yeah. Oh, the only two guys geekier than Todd Pettengill. Goofy Ginger. Yeah, Todd Pettengill. He was the like uh, Michael Cole of the early nineties. Oh, I forgot. Oh, yeah, that's right. Dang it! Come on. Dang it! Freaking Get good, up. Ronnie. The Reed Dead's freezing you, or whatever they are. All right, hopefully this is the last one. We'll find out. After, hopefully in this cave, these are the last of the pose. A pose they're 60, so. Yeah. Well, I lost count. You think I remember? <laughs> oh, oh man, more jelly, jeez. You jelly? Yeah. Okay, got assigned to the jazz school. Dang it, freaking ghost rats on me now. Yep, I knew it. Jeez. Oh, yeah, you gotta fight the Rat King as the boss in this cave. <laughs> Come on, get him, boy. Get him, put that boy. <laughs> and lastly, we get killed real quick. Have either Cujo or uh, the dog from that movie, Man's Best Friend, be in this cave. Oh, right into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get it down. Roll right into it. Oh, look at... Oh, oh idiot. <laughs> You stupid idiot! Yeah. The, these guys can be a pain. Yeah. This thing just made the list. <laughs> oh man, not these anorexic ice demons. Oh, <laughs> you guys want to blow up here on YouTube? <laughs> there you go. Oh, Ooh, right in the heart. Man, I got Goldberg. <laughs> Sub Zero versus Goldberg. No, Scorpion versus Goldberg. Battle, the, Battle of the Spears. <laughs> well, we know who would win that one. Yep, Goldberg. No. <laughs> oh, uh, okay, this has got to be what floor thirty, I think. Man, 
Imagine if the fair did not, like, uh, magically make you leave this place after you're done. That's a long way back. Yeah, it is. <laughs> How would you get back unless you had the grappling beam to grab it onto something on each floor? And this is the exit toward the end. Oh, this is driving me nuts having to do all this. <laughs> yeah. Imagine you get to the very last floor and you die. Uh, that, so that's happened to me. Right there, there? Oh, jeez. How frustrated were you? <laughs> you know, Sub Zero would be a good cop. <clears throat> You know, no scorpion. Get over here. No, freeze. <laughs> oh, okay. The dumb dumb tis. Yeah, but dumb tis. But dumb tis. Oh, cool. It's one of those. Uh, I forgot what those bombs are called. Bomb shoes or bomb lanes. Yeah, bomb shoes. Yeah. 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 Pikachu. Okay, bomb Kevin shoes. Was gonna win. This is the only practical use for them in the whole game. <laughs> they were a good use in Ocarina of Time. Yes. Yeah, it's kind of funny for me. When it deals with like little trial areas like these in various games, Like it doesn't matter the genre. There are a lot of different games that have a bunch of different different types of little trial stuff, whether they be DLC or in the game itself. I just... Uh, I've never really been a person who's bothered with them, and I sit back and think, like, man, was I actually missing out on not bothering with these trials? Because to me, I kind of felt like, in a way, they were kind of filler, but in a way, I probably might have been missing out on something, so I don't know. Maybe I kind of need to open my mind a little bit more and actually start trying some of them out, depending on, depending on the game. That uh, soldier I just killed, was he, was he a mini-boss in... What, uh, the light temple? I mean, the temple of time? Yeah, the temple of time, yes, he was. There he is. I love that when they get pissed off and take their sword out. Yeah. That's when they become super easy, though. Yeah. Hey, look at that. Oh, yeah. Remember that part in the Temple of Doom where they're about to be crushed by those spikes? Oh, yeah. This is getting off. serious. Yeah. Just trying to tell her to pull the lever. I can't do it now. How can yeah. I? And then she accidentally oh, pushes the switch again. They all almost get trapped in there. Yeah. I think this is the same fairy. I bet you have to fight her. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be a Vince Russo-like swerve. Yeah. This is actually the boss blind from Ocarina. I mean, uh, Running to the Past. You know something, Ronnie? I, If you look it up, the name of that boss in Link to the Past actually I don't think is blind. Yeah, I think it's something else, but I don't even remember. I'm checking. I'm curious. It's more of Moth from... Uh, Mega Man X2, no. No, that's a different... Dang, I think of the Dungeon 3 boss in the Dark World. Probably not the giant butterfly no, that's, uh, conveyor that's, belts. That, that's Mothula. Morph Moth is from Mega Man X2. I know, it's a joke. Oh. <laughs> Whoosh! Jeez, oh, floor number 100. Hey, JR, I guess you can say he's going through quite an ordeal, ha It's not funny, Apparently King. Apparently it is blind. What it's do I know? It's not funny, King. You're a liar. What do you mean? Well, you don't tell the truth. That's what a liar does, King. Ah. Remember that, Spectre? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. I'm what a, do you I'm mean a I'm a liar? Yeah, well, you don't exactly. tell the truth. That's what liars do, King. Yeah, exactly. I just, I, I thought it was so, so funny because I love the banter between the both of them. Nobody will ever be able to top them as being uh, color commentators. I, I just don't think any other 
commentating well, team can really can really beat them. I don't know. Gorilla and Bobby were freaking hilarious together. Yeah, but oh, I yeah. say those two get them run for their money. Yeah. Um, honor- honorable mentions are Shivani and Heenan and Shivani and Ventura. <laughs> well, that's a good way for Jericho to go out to go on tour. Just have Kevin Owens beat the living poop out of him. Yeah. Speaking of Jericho, I actually saw his new music video today for uh, his band Fozzy. I've never really listened to his music too much. I've heard a few songs, but I never really gave it a real, a real good listen. But the new one that I wonder I if there's anyone in the whole world that only knew him from Fozzy and didn't know he was a wrestler. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember like in was it 2000 where um, they mentioned they kept off saying. Um, Fozzy will perform tonight on Sunday Night Heat in WF New York, wherever the heck, I forgot. And um, and then Cole said, doesn't Jericho have a, uh, doesn't Fozzy have a striking resemblance to Jericho? And I looked at him and his, and his voice sounded just like we looked like him. I said, man, he does. Wow. Then I eventually found out, oh, wait, that is him. What? Like, I never heard of Fozzy. Yeah, it's like they tried to hide it. Never heard of Fozzy until, <laughs> until around that time. I'm like, what? And then I, yeah. I was like, oh, no wonder he looks and sounds like him because it is him. Yep. Did uh, you know su- supposedly that goon gimmick was originally supposed to be for him because his dad was a hockey player? Oh, man. I'm glad that didn't uh, and, happen. And instead, they gave it to Wild Bill Irwin. Yeah. No, this is a weird person to give it to. Wild Bill Irwin. Really? Terry Taylor could have made the Red Rooster worse, but he did. He hated it. Well, from what I understand, Bruce Pritchard goes into this too. Supposedly, that the whole thing oh. about him, like, like going going cock a doodle do and stuff like that, it wasn't. He wasn't literally supposed to be a rooster, but he thought it was a rib on him. He thought he would never get over, so he didn't take it seriously. But Vince's original idea was just for him to be a cocky guy because yeah. he thought he was. He thought he was as good as Ric Flair. Yeah. Oh, I just got 60 pose. That's good. Well, then that's all of them. Yeah, so uh, sometime after this, I have to pay Giovanni or whatever, Giovanni, whatever his name is, a visit. I hope I'm almost done. Man, the other day, Spectre, I was playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and I thought something was wrong with my Switch Pro controller because I couldn't keep going straight, and then I realized I had motion controls on. <laughs> it's like, yeah, oh, thank, I, was, I was like, thank God. All right, yeah, I actually made a few problems like that. As a matter of fact, uh, when I was playing over at a friend's place and we were playing it, uh, we were playing on the Wii U version, and uh, they were like, why in the world is it that I can't control? I'm, I'm moving my hands. And I was like, oh, well, you got the motion control thing on, so you have to turn that off to be able to just use the controls. So. All right, hopefully, this is the last one, or real close to it. I. I think this is the last floor. You can do it, Ronnie. You can do it, Ronnie. You can do it, Ron- You can do it, Otto. You can do it, Otto. <laughs> Points for reference? If I had it? a hat on, I'd be taking it off for you, Ronnie. Well, thanks, but... I don't know, it's like... <laughs> it's as, as if almost someone else did this, not me. <laughs> Oh, we got the great! I got the haters' tears. All the haters. We got a we got a cup of haters. Cup of right. haters. Enjoy the sweet sweetness of their tears. Yeah, I guess I did very good. Ah, very good. But I don't this. ain't no fairy tale game. Well, kind of is. That's a wicked suit of armor. Back here. Well, on- unless I. Unless I miss something, I think we're pretty much ready to go to the end of the game, right? Yeah, I missed the Easter egg, did I? Oh, I didn't even remember. Yes, you did. Okay, for anyone who uh, who doesn't know, the mailman is actually in there on one of the floors. I think the last floor, actually. I thought that was the last floor. So where, where was he at? When you first walk in, I think there's a that ledge that you stand on before you jump down goes around, and he's up there. Huh. Is he like looking at mail like he usually does? Like, hmm, where where does this go? I don't remember exactly. Dang, I gotta look that up now. Ugh. 
All right, so now we're going to go see Giovanni and set him free. Keep him that way and cut out his eyes. Sell him. <laughs> yeah. Luigi? He looks like my friend. He looks like my friend Andrew. Jeez. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Two hundred rupees. Wow. And just like Ocarina of Time, you don't get jack shit for doing all this. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Oh, speaking of finding stuff, Spectre, another update, two of the updates actually for Breath of the Wild. One of them is going to be the ability to track your progress, like your every step for the last 200 hours you've been playing. And the other will be a Korok mask that will shake whenever a Korok is nearby, which will be very helpful. Oh, that would be great. All right, back to Telma's bar here. And wait, who's that? What? Giovanni? Oh. Wah, wah, wah. oh, that's messed up. I've I've never seen this before. Oh man, so she left him because he was um uh in that state for a while and she just found found another man. Well shit, I, I never bothered to go check to go find him. That's cool. Sad but cool. Sad but true. Sad but cool. You know it's sad but true. <laughs> sad but true. No, uh, glad but false. Happy but false. Wait, fail. All right, Imagine now Triple back to H that. singing. Sad, sad but true. All right, we're approaching the final castle. Uh, before we get ready to fight Ganondorf. Uh, and the final part of Twilight Princess, which will be the next part. So, finally, we will arrive to face Ganon in the final showdown. In part 30, will be the Let's Play slash Discuss Twilight Princess. See you guys then. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. Take care. Peace. See ya.